We're rolling? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Just call me Gabby. Well, I'm also going by No Issue Codes. Um, because that's what I do for a living. I think that it's actually a name that resonates really deep with my story. Um, because every time I tell someone I'm a software engineer, engineer, it's like, no way, like that's what you do? Like, is it hard? Oh my God, are you good at math? You're like a genius. For not actually to talk about anything coding or engineering, um, but just more so to talk about how me being a nerd is not one dimensional. Um, I fit into many lanes or many things that I like to do. Um, so I really just want to share how everyday nerdiness and everyday tech is really relatable to everybody because I'm sick of every time someone also says, oh my God, you're into this stuff, but you don't look like a nerd or you don't act like a nerd, like you're really cool. We're all cool. It's all really normal. And y'all are all nerds, you just don't know it. So I'm here to show y'all that. I'm here to connect y'all to y'all own nerdiness. So what's coming up is you're gonna see some game reviews, some movie reviews, um, some technical topics or nerdy topics that are actually like what you deal with every day, um, whether it's about love or music or a mobile app that you're really enjoying. Um, we're gonna kind of hit it all um, and definitely involve a lot of pop culture because that's one of my favorite things, seeing how pop culture and tech could be brought together. All right, so now that you know a little, about, a little bit about me and what we're trying to do here, um, I wanna go into my first topic, which is a Valentine's Day and the perfect gift to get your nerdy significant other so um let's kind of start with like the cool things and kind of gearing up uh, one of my favorite websites ever to buy gifts for my brother my boyfriend me hell it don't matter um is actually box lunch i think box lunch has a great selection and no this is not a sponsorship this is like just me in my opinion and what i do um so just for some more recent and new releases coming out you want to get your game of thrones gear from box lunch um they have your marvel cinematic universe gear uh they actually have this really cool deadpool valentine's day shirt that i think is absolutely epic um they totally just released a whole collection of kingdom hearts gear and you can't forget about star wars and dragon ball super but if you want to keep it classic as in, you know, from when we were like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know how old you are when these things came out. Um, they also have a great collection for Sailor Moon, Harry Potter, um, Crash and Spyro, as well as Pokemon. And those are just some examples, but they're pretty much hitting all the spectrums of any kind of nerd that you are. Even if you're a cat nerd and you just love cats, they got it for you. All right, so if your significant other is like me and they're a gamer, here are just some really cool accessories. You can actually get them. So I think a really good default is Xbox Live, PSN, or Nintendo Switch Online gift cards. Super simple, super easy, and trust me, we need them. Everything is online these days, so. The other thing that's actually always dope to get as a gift is actually really cool controllers. So if you are an Xbox gamer, or if your significant other is an Xbox gamer, sometimes, you know, maybe doing the Xbox Design Lab and customizing your own controller is really cool. Um, and maybe if your significant other isn't even into gaming, but sometimes they wanna play with you, get them something cute like that with their name on it so they know it's just theirs. If you're into PlayStation, then they do have that new Scuf Vantage controller. It's a little pricey, but I definitely think it's worth the price. Um, per usual, we always run out of memory. So you can always get your significant other a hard drive. That is so important. A lot of systems these days will actually format the hard drive for that system. I have some down in the description. Um, I have about four that are actually under $100 and they're all about one terabyte and have amazing reviews. Uh, last thing that I've actually been noticing a lot of people don't have, uh, you would think they do, but they don't, is a controller charging dock. Very simple, you can charge up to two to four controllers depending on what system you have and what dock you get. And they come with rechargeable batteries you can plug into your controllers. And literally when you're done with it, just go bloop. It sits there, changes colors when it is ready to go. And I think it's one of the best gifts you can have or give to somebody because honestly, we're tired of running through batteries. So we talked about cool gear. We talked about hitting my personally favorite gamer community. Um, but I just wanted to talk about just some other cool gifts that I did find that I think would really make the nerds happy. Um, so you can always get a Marvel or DC encyclopedia from Barnes and Nobles. Those are super awesome. 
for those also classic gamers, there is a Legend of Zelda encyclopedia. Super crazy, might be a little complicated, but if you're into it, you're into it. Um, one event that I am absolutely going to, and I hope my man <laughs> buys these tickets, um, is tickets to the Halo Outpost Discovery Live experience. Um, I think that's going to be super dope. They're supposed to be having a lot of talks with the creators, um, different panelists on different artists that have contributed to the game, um, visual artists, musical artists, and as well as just different exhibitions that are supposed to be like you're actually in the game. So, ready for that. Really, something that's really been taking the world by storm, and I see them on Amazon all the time, are mini arcade games. They're about this big and they look like a retro setup, as if you went to the arcade yourself. Um, they can be bought, put in your pocket, on your desk, in your purse, whatever you like. Um, and they're actually set with classic retro video games like Ms. Pac-Man. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my first video. It has been absolutely a blast to be here with you, my relatables. Call my listeners my relatables um, because it's going to be like the play on a play on words I guess so I always get called the relatable nerd or you're relatable but you're nerdy but I feel like all nerds are relatable or all people that are just into certain things whether it's just a niche thing are relatable you just think that we're a little awkward or weird but we're not we actually have a lot more in common than you think so my relatables um please don't forget to subscribe below and check out my Instagram no issue codes for other smaller content or cute little posts that you may want to see thanks